morning everyone. Uh, we are now at the Hal Safliani Hypogeum. Uh, as you can see, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, we just got here, we were extremely early because we wanted to make sure, one, to get here on time, and two, uh, so that we can walk around the area a little bit and enjoy. So there's going to be some occasional like gunfire or firework type sounds. There's actually a festival happening even though it's 7 a.m. Uh, so here's the historic section where it is. It's not very difficult to find if you have GPS. There's the door and I'll check in with you soon. So right now as we're early, as you, that you can hear the uh, gunfire explosion type sounds in the back. Again, that's just the uh, festival. Um, but we're walking over to the main square now to just hang out and relax until we... Uh, until it's time for us to go to the Hypogeum. Now we purchased tickets ahead of time. Highly suggest that you do that as well. Um, gotta check both sides here because cars are crazy. Uh, because tickets are virtually impossible to get um, if you try to get them at the last second, at least in my opinion. Um, so yeah, uh, we paid 120 euro for four people. So this is the actual entrance to the Hypogeum. The doorway and uh, signage that I showed you is actually just around the corner. Um, so if you get lost, you go to the other side, it's fine. You're just about 15 to 20 seconds away from the actual entrance, which is here. Your GPS will actually take you to that corner, that street, and tell you that you've arrived at the other entrance. But in fact, this is it. So hopefully they let me film, although I've checked online and it appears you are not allowed to take pictures or film inside, but we'll see what we can do. So here we are in the town square that's next to the Hypogeum, uh-huh. And uh, it's really pretty, really nice. I'm not sure what all these buildings are, but or what these flags represent, but it's pretty cool. We're gonna try to explore this building a little bit now. So I do believe this is a church. You can see the churchgoers leaving. It's a beautiful building. Um, we're not gonna go inside right now because I think it's actual services. Uh, let's see. Not exactly sure which building it is yet. But, really nice. Definitely looks like it's at least a few hundred years old. Would be interesting to find out. So we are in Valletta and we're entering the old gates that take you into the city. So if you look at our map here, we are exactly here at the gates, right there. And we're walking into Valletta. So we've just walked into St. John's Cathedral in Valletta. Uh, I did not take an audio guide because I wanted to film this, but it looks really pretty wow. Uh, 
So here we are at the Upper Baraka Gardens. And uh, we just came in time to watch one of the saluting batteries, which is there. Unfortunately, I didn't pull out my camera fast enough and I missed it. Um, but it, they do a saluting battery at 12 and they do another one at 4 o'clock p.m. and or 16, 100 hours. It's an incredible view, definitely, this, this bay. So as we were driving, we uh, came across this little point here and I wanted to show you guys just how awesome it is. The water is so clear. It's amazing. There's a, one of these is the forts, the old fort. I mean, there's a bunch of them it looks like there and there and there, but I don't know exactly what the name of them is, but there, there's like Fort Rinella and something else, I think. Don't know where in relation to us that is. So here we are at the Siege Bell Memorial. It, uh, I'm not sure if it's from World War I or World War II. I have to do some research, but there you go. We're gonna climb up to it now and get a closer look. 